this episode, we're going to look at AWS AppRunner, which is a managed service that makes it easier to deploy. And so now to get a Ruby on Rails application running on AWS, you have several different options. You have Elastic Beanstalk, you can spin up a regular EC2 instance, or you could use something like ECS, which is the container service. And if we look at just a regular EC2 instance, the main issue I have with those is that you're then having to maintain that specific VM. And while that may not be a big deal, it is something that you're going to have to then maintain. And then you have something like the container service, which will basically provision a few EC2 instances, but they're just used in the background. And then you can run your Docker images on AWS, set up some auto scaling, and you should be good but you still are paying for those underlying EC2 instances, whether you're fully utilizing them or not. And then with something like Elastic Beanstalk, you're still going to be using EC2 instances. And I do like Beanstalk. It's a great way to spin up an application. And for each web node that you have, you're still paying for an additional EC2 instance. And then comes in App Runner, which is a little bit different. And there's really two different ways that you can run it. You can run it with your code directly, or you can run it from a container image. And so in this episode, we're going to look at the container image route, and we'll also look at doing the auto deployments, and we'll also look at setting up a fully qualified domain name to attach to our app runner. And did you know that you can go to railstore.com to get your own Ruby on Rails t-shirt or your Drift and Ruby t-shirt? So be sure to check that out and use the promo code RUBY for free shipping within the United States. To watch this full episode and more videos, visit driftandruby.com and subscribe to the Pro Membership.